Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Robert Show. Today we have uh, we are going to talk a lot around uh, data, AI, healthcare. Uh, we look at how Highland turns unstructured content into decisions across healthcare and imaging. Uh, Lyle Yor from Highland is here to break it down for us, and I'm super excited to host him because it's his debut. So, Lyle, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. Yeah, thanks, Robert. I appreciate uh, the opportunity. Awesome. Lyle, just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at Highland. Yeah, I'm the Associate Vice President in the Product Management Organization focused on all things healthcare at Highland. So if you really look across our broad portfolio, Highland is, is historically known for content services. You Most people on the call probably either have or know of Highland OnBase. Uh, mm -hmm. and, but we also have a broad set of enterprise medical imaging products uh, designed to do uh, to help capture medical images, archive those, and present those back through uh, our viewing uh, tool set. Uh, within the OnBase uh, platform, we've had a long history of providing workflow solutions for our for our customers. Basically, taking the the terabytes of data that they have and helping those use that 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 information to make their businesses more efficient at the content innovation cloud so uh lyle highlands content innovation cloud is positioned as game changer in intelligent content management yeah. can you walk us through a real world use case where it's you know helped an organization transform the operations and much more yeah, I'm, I w would love to do that. We're we're in the uh, very early stages of getting our first healthcare solutions that are built on the content innovation cloud uh, out mm -hmm. into the marketplace. In fact, it was just uh, late last week that our intelligent med record solution uh, was released, uh, you know, nice. generally to the public. And you know, this is a solution. I, I find this to be really a fascinating solution because med medical records capture has been in has been something that the industry has been doing for well over two decades. Yep. Basically, the moment scanners were you know were invented and 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 there were places to store digital images, uh, hospitals have been converting paper to to digital, and 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 that's it, you know there, there's whole groups that are dedicated within healthcare, the health information management teams. This is right. primarily what they do amongst you know many other tasks. And so we've had solutions in the market to support intelligent med records, uh, but we just launched our new solution based on Content Innovation Cloud. And what we've seen with one of our early beta customers, Nebraska Medicine, uh, who also uses our previous solution, so it was a nice comparison. We've seen in the early testing and the early results from the beta test that mm -hmm. You know, they improved the accuracy of classification using these new tools just by a little bit. So they went from 95% to 96% using these new tools. And you, you say on the surface, wow, that's not very exciting, right? You just, you just increased 1% on something that was really good. But what we found during the testing is the number of hours it took for them to get from, to 95% with the old product and 96% with the new, it was basically a 99% improvement on time to value. And so mm -hmm. this is the power of the new large language model driven AI capabilities that we have in Content Innovation Cloud. It's, it's not that we're, we ever expected to go from 95 to 100%, but it's the fact that a customer can now get access to these technologies and get, and get them into production in, in a few days or a couple of weeks versus, versus months is really what's, what's truly kind of innovative about uh, this approach and what makes us excited because Yep. Customers are not a one size fit all. If we have to do a complicated, uh, uh, high, you know, very complicated services effort or a very complicated configuration to get this into their hands, it's going to be a cumulative negative effect on them. But if we can do the opposite and make it easy for them to adopt AI, which was what we're doing with the content innovation cloud, it's a, it's a cumulative gain for them because as they acquire more customers, they 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 uh, change the types of you know documents that they have. They change the places maybe they want to store these documents. It's it's going to be very easy for them to take these things on. Uh, can you speak to why unstructured content is so critical in healthcare and how much of today's healthcare data actually falls into that category? So that will also help us understand uh, a little more about the unstructured data space as well. Yeah, it's it's. You know, depending on on which metric you want to attach to, it is the the majority 
it's clear that the majority of content that exists within a, a healthcare organization is unstructured. So some claim as mm -hmm. much as much as eighty percent. Um, I would not disagree with that. It's a it's because unstructured content in in a healthcare environment, you know, includes all administrative and clinical documents that that you know yep. are primarily coming in from the outside of the organization, which is which is a lot. Think of every single fax that takes place. Think of every single email that comes in. Think of the lock boxes that all the hospitals have. That's all unstructured content that's coming in from the outside of the organization. It's coming in on a daily basis in mass. But unstructured content also includes um, medical imaging content. And so you think of every x-ray, every CT, every MRI, uh, there is a structured component of it uh, that, that yep. you know, when you talk about DICOM, but there's also this, this massive, uh, you know, uh, uh, image image payload that's associated with every single one of those that is completely unstructured and so organizations are, are sitting on a massive amount of unstructured content mm -hmm. that if you look back 10 or 15 years ago was not super valuable to them now obviously the medical records that come in from the outside very valuable because we want to associate those with the patient record we want the physicians to have access to those as quickly as possible but things like derm photos uh things like um uh uh, ultrasounds that are done at the point of care at the bedside that weren't scheduled. Previously, those things were thrown away or kept on USB drives. And now that uh, AI has has risen so quickly to prominence inside the industry, people are starting to clamor for more and more of the unstructured content that exists. And so it's it's the clinical and administrative documents become more and more important uh, to drive workflows yep. throughout an organization. The medical images, the the specialty imaging departments that that maybe didn't have a place at the table now have a seat at the table because the things that they're capturing not only can drive higher levels of patient care, uh, but but you know it can drive research and it can it can be utilized to uh, with the new AI yeah. initiatives that each of the hospitals are going after. So uh, you know one thing that I uh, stood out for me was one of the promises of the content innovation cloud is. Uh, smarter decision making. So how does it apply here? Can you share how it leverages AI to surface insights from unstructured content? If you can share a little bit there would be very interesting. Right? Yeah, it, it, everything in the content innovation cloud is underpinned by advanced AI technologies. And it, this is this is critical. Uh, this is a critical component to us helping our customers get to that next level of efficiency that they've never been able to achieve in the past. And so there are there are multiple ways that we're leveraging AI to drive efficiencies and ultimately unlock those insights that you know our customers are 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 asking us for from the data that that we currently manage for them. And so right. one of the easiest ones to to really for everyone to kind of wrap their arms around is really our knowledge discovery product which 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 allows us to ask questions uh, of of the uh, data that we manage in our repositories and get answers back. If you look at if you look at where the industry was ten years ago, search is obviously a, a top of mind. And so if you're if you're an employee and and you're wanting to find a document, you have to remember a little bit about the document. Maybe you know a few words that could be in the document. Maybe you know the title. Maybe you know the index. Uh, some mm -hmm. of the indexing data that's part of the scheme that they use to archive the document. You search the document, you you retrieve a list of documents that could be the one you're looking for, all stack ranked by confidence levels. And then it's up to you, the individual, to click on that first one and start reading through it. Maybe you do a control F and you try to find some, some keywords that you're looking for. But ultimately, it's up to you, the individual, to sit there, read the document, find the data you're looking for, synthesize it, and, and, and make a decision based on what you found. If right. that info's in multiple areas, you've got to then kind of like mentally stitch all that together and then make a yep. decision where AI is helping us today is to go well beyond that search. And so now, now imagine I'm, I'm someone who wants to, you know, ask, ask why does this patient have a pacemaker? Right. And I can now, instead of having to go find every single document that, that, that mentions anything about cardiology uh, inside of, inside of my unstructured data store, I can I can ask this question in a natural language query. The, the knowledge discovery can go out using AI, large language models, go out and you know interrogate all the documents I have. This is part of that retrieval, retrieval augmented generation RAG model that we use. Right. Return, return an answer to me, and then give me the links to the places where all the all the content was found, 
and take me right to the exact location in the document where it, it, it helped make that, um, uh, make that, you know, uh, decision about what you know how it should respond back with an answer right that's powerful i've just I, you know this is this is where we're taking the industry from i have to do all this myself and make the best decision i can to this cuts 60 80 percent of the time away from from that process and makes it very easy for me to understand why was this decision made to respond back in this certain way I can now get to those answers very quickly. That's an easy one for us to talk about how AI is making workflows better and, and how it's it's helping get insights. You know, we're not we're not telling you how to answer the question. We're giving you all the information in a much more easily digestible way, which is huge. Uh, we also do a lot of work with AI on our classification, uh, our document processing type solutions, where we're doing a lot of pre-processing on the documents when they come into the into the organization we're classifying we're separating classifying extracting data and we're really gearing up that content to go into a downstream into a more powerful workflow uh, that's all ai driven by large language models and then i would be remiss to not mention agentic ai which which to me is kind of the the ultimate uh example of of ai yep. underpinning a, a whole host of workflows in an in organization so you know previously i can i'm using ai now to classify documents that's exciting i mm -hmm. can extract a little bit of information i know what the document is that's great previously i would have had to send that to a user they have to look at it and let's say this is a, a request for additional documentation from a payer I, I have to then look at it. I have to think about everything. Every time I've ever done one of these, what are they asking for? What's the procedure that's being performed? What documents do I need right. to report it for this patient? Agentic AI looks at that document. It it pulls the insights out of the document, says, I know what this is. Uh, it's already been classified. Mm. I know what it's asking of me as a as an individual. I could I could just guide you through that. That's one thing which would save you a lot of time. But let me just go ahead right. and I'll pull the documents for you. Let me bundle all this stuff together. If I feel confident that I've done everything I need to, let me just go ahead and send this back to the payer to get this claim processed. Or if I think I've got most everything I need, let me send this to you, the um, the human in the loop. And oh, by the way, now you know eighty percent of it's been done for you. This is huge when it, you know, this is awesome. a wonderful use case of how AI, you know, is helping in a variety of different ways throughout these workflows. And so what we're talking about is not just facilitating the workflows across those different groups, but we're talking about fettering the content that's all over these different facilities, making it available uh, as part of these workflows, and then making sure that the workflows themselves uh, are accessible by those groups that are that are highly distributed at this point.